Hey, Michael, real quick, for the people that are watching right now that may not know the difference between implied and realized vol and how they're kind of court, like for implied vol, obviously, is what the market is pricing, correct? But it may not necessarily come true. Do I have that right for everybody? Yeah, so implied vol is basically just it's just basically a bet on where realized volatility will be in the future. And realized volatility is basically taking the daily moves in the market on a look back. And it's basically, so if you get it, get into a period of time where realized volatility is 1%, you know, markets going up 1%, markets going up 1%, markets going up 1%, your realized volatility is going to start going up towards 16, right? Because you basically annualize it by, taking the volatility metrics and, and multiplying it by 16. And so uh, if you start getting those 1% moves, realized volatility is going to start gyrating and moving towards uh, that 16 handle on the, on the uh, realized vol, and that's going to push implied vol up along with it. And just like if you start getting you know 25 basis point moves in the marketplace, that realized vol is going to start coming down to resemble something of 25 basis points divided by 16. Uh, and that pushes implied volatility 